Now to the escalating tensions between the U.S. and China, with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi meeting with Taiwan's president overnight. China is accusing, accusing the U.S. of playing with fire. Our senior White House correspondent, Mary Bruce, is tracking the latest. Good morning, Mary. Michael, good morning. Well, overnight, that historic moment on this trip that has sparked a lot of controversy and fierce pushback from the Chinese. The White House this morning says they anticipated this response, but is warning China not to escalate things further. This morning, the meeting China did not want to happen. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi defying Beijing's stern warnings, warmly received by Taiwan's president. Our delegation came here to send an unequivocal message. America stands with Taiwan. Pelosi is the highest ranking official to visit Taiwan in 25 years, a self-governing democracy that China considers part of its territory. The world faces a choice between democracy and autocracy. America's determination to preserve democracy here in Taiwan and around the world remains ironclad. But this morning, Beijing is furious, accusing the U.S. of playing with fire. The Chinese government swift to react, announcing military exercises in the waters surrounding Taiwan, including live ammunition drills, and sending nearly two dozen warplanes into its air defense zone. The spokesman for the Chinese foreign ministry this morning saying the U.S. and Taiwan are not listening, and therefore the Chinese military and the Chinese side can only communicate with the U.S. and the Taiwan Independent Separatist Forces in a language that they can understand. Pelosi has long been a vocal critic of China's human rights record, seen here in 1991 commemorating the pro-democracy protesters killed in Tiananmen Square. And visits by Republican and Democratic lawmakers are common. But this visit is different. Shrouded in secrecy, Pelosi's office refusing to confirm the stop until she touched down in Taipei. Now, the Chinese this morning are also summoning the U.S. ambassador to China to formally protest Pelosi's visit. The White House, though, is defending her decision to make this trip, saying it is in line with longstanding U.S. policy. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.